There are frantic efforts to save more than 150 whales stranded on a beach in WA southwest underway. Some of the whales have already died. Ian Weiss is a local whale researcher and he joins us now from Toby Inlet. Ian, thank you so much for joining us on the ABC News Channel. I understand that you've been there on the beach all day and we have heard that some whales have managed to make it back out to sea. Yes, it's been a very good uh, story today because uh, normally with these sorts of strandings that wind up with uh, 100 whales beaching and five or six being saved. But in this case, there was well over 200 um, along the beach here and um, just nearby. And uh, th there's 31, I think, of deceased, but the rest got away. And uh... Which is an, an amazing story. It is indeed. It's, it's good news. How many whales are left on the sand there now and, and what state are they in? Well, they're all deceased. There's 31 um, on the beach here and they're being uh, measured and um, statistics taken by marine biologists and they'll then be taken away to landfill somewhere. OK, and do we have any idea how this might have happened? No, no one really understands that the, um, the world is puzzled by these sorts of events and um, it, I don't think that um, we're very much closer to understanding it. And I, I know that there have been volunteers there on the scene all day. What kinds of things have they been doing to help sort of rescue the whales or, or to keep them comfortable? Well, when I first arrived, there was... Um, I think 160 in the water, um, just almost out of the water. And there were a couple of hundred people who were um, with the whales. Um, they were trying to comfort them and make sure that they, their heads were out of the water so they could breathe. Um, and then after an hour or so, all of a sudden, uh, they, um, the ones that were in the water that were still alive uh, left and went out to sea. Oh, I mean, no, we're is... not sure whether or not they'll attempt. That is a great, a great result. Sorry, but I, was, I, imagine... I was about to say. Sorry, go on, Ian. Oh, um, they may well decide to come back to shore somewhere um, on another beach nearby or something. That's often happens, but we're hopeful that uh, they won't. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. I mean, it must have been, um, I can see, we can see in the vision that we're looking at right now, people working together to help pull the whales around, but it must be quite upsetting to have, you know, a number of whales now deceased on the beach. And I know that you're no stranger uh, to this. This has happened in that part of the world before. Yes, I, I think this is the third mass stranding that I've um, attended. The other two were at a place called Hamlin Bay. And each, each time there was nearly a hundred uh, of the same species who beached themselves. And the outcomes were very poor in those situations. We've also heard from authorities um, that there will be sharks potentially in the area now. Do you expect that locals will be keeping out of the water? Um, well, there was, I, I haven't seen any evidence of sharks and there's no whales in the water now. So, um, and that's why the authorities will remove them as quickly as they can so that they don't leak oil and, and attract sharks. But at this time of the year, um, we're, we have a salmon migration and the sharks follow the uh, salmon schools and I think they're all pretty, pretty well um, fed at the moment.